ChatGPT, custom recipe, elevated TikTok cafeteria noodles. Here you go, you're gonna love them oodles. Hey everyone, welcome back to the AI Kitchen. I'm Dave, and you know, the internet is down on my phone, and all phones, like across the whole US. Pretty stressful. I didn't realize how reliant I was on data from AT&T, but you know what? We're gonna push through and we're gonna make a recipe, and I think it's a fitting recipe, it's cafeteria noodles, which is this trending recipe because it's very simple, but very delicious. Anyone can make it. I asked. Chat GPT to upgrade it to elevate it to make it a little better, and we're gonna test its improved version of cafeteria noodles. <sighs> I'm trying to collect all my ingredients. I got me some garlic. Yeah, that's the first step. You need some garlic. And you need to mince it up. This, of course, is not our first rodeo when it comes to mincing up garlic, right? ChatGPT calls for two cloves, so we're gonna do three because we just are rebels who like to live on the edge. So go ahead, and they're actually pretty small cloves in my opinion, so I think three would be a better plan. Yeah, I love the idea of just adding a new recipe that's super easy to cook to my life. Those are always handy. You also wanna get an onion. It says a small onion, but any old onion will do and dice that up. And as always, I won't make you watch me dice the onion. Really, if I was a professional cook, I'd like pre-cut it before we even started the video and make the video super fast and easy and unpainful for you to watch, but I'm not that prepared. I'm not a Boy Scout anymore. Actually, I never got the Boy Scouts. Cub Scouts was the furthest I got, but that's a story for a different day. I'll be right back when this onion is done being chopped. I will say though, really quick, the popcorn level for the Boy Scouts has drastically decreased. When I was a kid, the popcorn was straight up legit delicious and now I bought some from my nephew it's terrible it's absolutely horrible they've really let themselves go when it comes to the the Boy Scout popcorn game I still buy it to support him but it's reluctant that's for sure Okay, so I chopped up my onion. My phone started working, which is, you know, kind of nice because literally my son is going out of town on his first like trip out of the state without his parents. So figures today's the day we lose all internet connections uh, and cell phone capabilities. Okay, so in a large pot with lid, bring the chicken broth and bouillon cubes to a boil. So that's our next step. We've got our eggs, we got our garlic. That takes two seconds, guys. Some of you have like little choppers where you can do it instantly. So it'd be really easy. One quart of chicken broth. Isn't this thing a whole thing a quart? All right, 30. So we're gonna basically fill up our, I've got a pot over here it's on low heat for the moment just because I'm not sure what it's supposed to be on so I'm just gonna fill that up with my uh, chicken broth to the tippy top actually just the whole entire thing basically and this recipe I believe is trending because of how easy it is how delicious it is um, and so we're making it moderately more complicated but not much more complicated just a tiny bit more complicated and sometimes chat GPT does crazy things so I'm a little concerned about the fact that we haven't cooked the onions at all maybe that that happens in a separate pot bring chicken broth and bouillon cubes to boil over medium heat. Now, obviously it's become very clear right in the beginning, guys, I'm not a professional chef. I don't claim to be, I don't try to be, I just try to cook and experiment with AI and trending recipes and whatever I feel like asking AI to come up with, I'll, uh, I'll ask it and we'll see how it comes out. If you ever just wanna eat a bouillon cube, it seems so delicious. Put it in with your uh, chicken broth and it says, add the onion and minced garlic to the broth, allowing it to simmer for two to three minutes. How's it gonna simmer? That's my concern. It seems like it's gonna boil. It's so funny because I'll call ChatGPT out on this stuff. I'll be like, hey, ChatGPT, you dummy. That doesn't make sense. And I said to it, I, I typed in, I said, isn't that boiling the garlic and onions not simmering because it told me to simmer the garlic and onions and chat GPT said actually you're right it is boiling not simmering that's gonna come to a boil it's gonna come to a boil quick because this is really hot out here it's on gas hopefully I don't run out of gas I don't actually have much once it's boiling we're gonna add our onion and our garlic to kind of soften it chat GPT says and it, it now agrees that we are boiling it not simmering it because we're not we're boiling it anyways I know I am uh, picking nits is that what they say you can see my breath that's how cold it is this morning we're gonna move this camera over here because I feel like I'm gonna be over here for the rest of the video. All right, I got my handy dandy wooden spoon. Let's stir that a little. I think we want this uh, bouillon cube to break up a little. Oh yeah, the camera's good now. Ooh, this smells really yummy. All right, so this is aggressively boiling. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little because this heat is like outlandishly high. We're gonna add our onion and garlic. So it's good to have a super lightweight <laughs> cutting board that weighs 40 pounds. Makes it much easier to cook. Onions and garlic all in there. It's like a soup kinda. All right, uh oh, I got like a little onion skin in there. I can get it out. 
Ooh, that smells really good already though, I'll say that. It wants to get aromatic, it says, so give it a couple minutes, probably two. While your garlic is getting fragrant, you can go ahead and grate up one half cup of Parmesan, fresh Parmesan. Gonna add a lot of flavor to it. I'm not sure if this is in the original recipe or not. I'll tell you soon. I'm just making sure I have a half a cup there. Yeah, that's about a half a cup. That's perfect. Right, this is pretty fragrant. I think it's probably about time to add our noodles. Yeah, it's pretty garlicky and delicious smelling. So now we're boiling. It's been a few minutes. This smells all fragrant. We're gonna wanna add one pound of egg noodles to the mix. Add those in and then stir them around to make sure that they're all coated in the liquid. I feel like we could use a little more liquid, but I don't know. I've never made the original recipe, so maybe this is how it's supposed to look. So yeah, I just, I'm a little intrigued by the fact that the noodles aren't all wet, uh, but maybe they'll like shrink and fit in a minute. A little concerning. Hopefully it's okay. If you guys have ever made this, comment below and let me know if ChatGPT has steered me wrong so far. That was only a pound of noodles, right? Yeah, it was. Okay, and then it says to add our cream of chicken soup, which I have a can of that, 10 ounces, cream of chicken soup, ew. <laughs> and then half a cup of heavy whipping cream or heavy cream and stir it again. So this seems weird and disturbing so far. <laughs> Hopefully this is good and not disgusting. So far, I'm feeling concerned. I'm feeling concerned and a little bit worried that this is going to be terrible. What does that remind me of? Hmm, I can't remember. So I'm just mixing it all in to get it all coated in the liquid and back to a boil, it says. Cook for two minutes at a boil. So let me get it up to a boil here. I'd certainly say it's boiling. I don't want to burn the milk though. I just realized my oven is super hot or my stove top is super hot. I don't want to burn the milk. So I'm going to go easy. I'm going to do like another one minute and then pull it off the heat. Yeah, they're all starting to get pretty moist and such and absorbing the liquid. I think it's okay. Does cream of chicken soup actually have pieces of chicken in it? Is that normal? I think it must. Uh, yeah, let's give it about 50 more seconds. 50 more seconds. So if you're new here, you're just like, what is this guy has no clue what he's doing. He's questioning everything he does. That's that's the channel, guys. It's a non-professional cook, a normal everyday cook. If you're a pro cook, you're probably not gonna like this unless you just like watching people struggle. But if you're looking for techniques of how to be an amazing chef, that's not here. That's not, the, this isn't the right spot. All right, so I think it's been two minutes. I'm gonna pull this off the heat, turn off my heat. Ooh, smoking. And uh, oh my gosh, it's like in my face. Oh. Let me fix my camera if possible. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got some more stuff we need to add, then we're gonna cover it. I gotta go kind of quick, I think. Add unsalted mud, butter, mutter, mutter butter. A full stick of unsalted butter, like that. Is it melted? Did I just say melted? Unsalted butter, yeah, it doesn't say melted. Yeah, it says we're supposed to melt it with it off the heat. That might be a challenge, cause it's like ice cold. Oops, I got it on my apron. All right, well, we'll just keep stirring it. We're also going to add our half cup of Parmesan at this point, which I've just done. It also says to add some thyme, which it can be dried or fresh. I actually forgot the time, so <laughs> like literally, what time is it? No, I don't know where the time is. I can go look for it, but let me get all the other steps done. I can always add it uh, after we lit it up. So we're just gonna stir this until that butter is all invisible. I might not even do the time, cause I don't think I have any. But it's something you could add. It says you can add some thyme here. Teaspoon of dried thyme, it says. We're not gonna add it, look at that. Okay, the butter's all melted. This is already looking really creamy and delicious. Let's put our lid on it, like so. How hot is this? Medium hot. So this is like pretty much done. We just need to wait 20 minutes and then taste it. So I'll be back in 20. We'll give it a try and see how it came out. All right, guys, it's been 20 minutes and we're gonna check this out, see how it looks. Boom, how does it look? It looks pretty creamy. Let's give it a, a stir up here. It smells really good. Some of the noodles weren't like covered in the sauce, but that's okay. It says to add salt and pepper to taste. But we'll go ahead and do that, add a little pepper. I know it says freshly ground black pepper, but I told you we're not a fancy kitchen, guys. <laughs> It also says to put like uh, freshly ground sea salt and we're using just Morton's, just Morton's. Mix it all up, um, you know. You can take the country out of the boy, but you can't take the boy out of, I don't know how that works. <laughs> take the boy out of the country, but the country, I don't know. I'm not even from the country, so it's irrelevant. Stir it all up here. It says you can add a little bit of parsley, parsley, parsley to it at this point. It's really not gonna add any flavor and I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna try this and see how it came out. It's very creamy. Cafeteria noodles, probably the easiest recipe we have ever cooked on the channel. So you definitely can make this if it turns out good. Going in. Mmm. All right. Wow, zero complaints for me. It's simple. It's simple, yet satisfying. You know, like the bugs in Lion King. It's really just like, good. It's good and easy. It's super creamy and rich, and you can taste the, the fresh garlic and the onions. Mmm, I really like it. Big fan over here. I bet you my kids would all like it too.
The big differences we did was fresh garlic, fresh onions. Normally it doesn't call for that. We added the Parmesan. Normally that's not in there and that's definitely delicious tasting. The cream isn't normally in it. Again, I think that's adding a lot. I think that's about it. I mean, so this cafeteria noodles, super easy, super simple, super delicious. Elevated cafeteria noodles, still super easy, but even more delicious. And you should try these. Yeah, I don't think anyone will complain in the house. Great for everyone. Thank you for watching. Quick visit to the AI Kitchen today. Make sure you subscribe. Check out some of my old videos. I have a bunch of awesome recipes on there. Thank you for coming by. Bye-bye.